Hey guys, Carl here and welcome to another Ab Geek Brief where we try to tell you everything you need to know in about two minutes. Granted, I think this one's going to take a bit longer, but we're going to try anyways. Today we're talking about airport weather reporting systems. ATIS, ASOS versus AWOS. What's the difference? I mean, they all give us the weather. Weather systems can sometimes be confusing, even to experienced pilots. Because, you see, there comes a time when you just get the weather because where it's coming from is less important than what it is. But the weather information you get differs from airport to airport because of who or what's reporting it. But let's dig into that and start that timer. Here we go. All right. Almost all weather reporting systems provide the same basic information. Time, wind direction and speed, visibility, temperature, dew point, altimeter settings, and cloud conditions. Where they start to differ is in the details, like are they human involved or is it automated? How often is the information updated and what additional information is provided? Let's start with the Automated Terminal Information Service Report, or ATIS. It's unique because it requires human intervention to be created. In the US, it's typically recorded 55 minutes past the hour, unless weather or runway changes require an update before then. But because it's human generated, additional information beyond the weather, like the phonetic identifier, runways in use, frequencies to contact tower, notams, and other information the tower thinks is important, can be included in this report. And that's why the ATIS report is considered the gold standard. Now, not all airports have ATIS, and they're typically found at towered airports in class B, C, and D airspace. But the weather portion of the ATIS is read from an automated weather system, which we'll get into right now. There are two primary systems to provide weather information to pilots, the Automated Surface Observation System, or ASOS, and the Automated Weather Observation System, or AWOS. Both give you up-to-the-minute conditions and are used in generating METAR reports, but the two systems do differ. ASOS is newer, more accurate, and more advanced, allowing them to be used for more than just instant weather information. They're also used in generating the ATIS report, and fun fact, they're also used by the National Weather Service too. AWOS is more basic and primarily used at non-towered airports. It also comes in different packages as seen here in this table from the AIM. Airports choose one based on their needs, but most AWOS systems in the US are AWOS 3. Now the last difference between the two comes down to who owns them. ASOS units are federally owned and installed, where AWOS units are installed by the FAA, but municipalities and businesses can install them too. Now, how can you tell which type of system you're tuned into? Easy. You check on a sectional, right about here. Or you can check the airport's chart supplement under Weather Data Sources. All right, where are we at? I don't have a watch on, but I did try testing this out before I recorded it and it was right around two minutes, so I don't know. Anyways, if you want to learn more about weather reporting systems, we've gone ahead and put a couple of links down inside of the description, so make sure you check that out. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw this one a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button. And we also make content like this all the time, just great content. So make sure to head over to our channel page to check that out. And, and while you're there, ring that bell to get notified of whenever our new content drops. Anyways, make sure you share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.